Hi, I'm Angela and I run a little business called Empower Crystals. Um, I make handmade crystal jewellery and I send them all over the world through my online business. Today I wanted to tackle a particularly um, topical subject which is the new change in the custom laws um, for when you send international post um, through customs. It now needs to have electronic information which the customs um, can read through a barcode. Now, I've spent ages this year trying to sort this out. Um, I started in the summer trying to find anything out and eventually I phoned up Royal Mail. Um, they phoned me back um, uh, through their business um, account uh, manager and um, they said a new system that's been running for the last year or so is click and drop and that will automatically do everything for you. This isn't quite true but um, it is um, the way to go now for the new customs laws. So basically when you send a item now you will need a harmonising code. You get these off the um, UK government site, I'll include a link below and these harmonizing codes are seven digits and what you do is you look up your area so for mine it would be jewelry then you'd narrow it down maybe silver jewelry and then you'd select maybe silver gemstone jewelry and then you'll get a seven digit code that will tell the customs in a barcode what you're sending <clears throat> now um to do this, um, you need to obviously have something that creates the barcodes. The new click and drop system will, will do this for you. And you have to enter the harmonizing code when you enter your um, postal information. And then it will automatically produce a barcode, which will be printed out as part of your um, postal address. <clears throat> so basically you'll get the stamp the 2D barcode stamp in one corner, then you'll get the harmonising code next to it, which is a UH number with a long number after it. And then below you'll get your customer's address. And then next to that, you'll get your return address. Um, so it will all be on there. Um, and these will print out um, through, you can print them out through your A4 printer. The only problem with that is then it might run. Um, if you've got a printer like mine that's just um, a normal inkjet printer. So what I've opted to do is to get the Zebra printer. <clears throat> now this is the Zebra printer that I've got. It's quite easy and quite small as you can tell. And the best thing about it is that Royal Mail actually provide the um, uh, labels for it so these are all free these large labels in here are all free provided from more mail that you can order through your business account <clears throat> now the model of this is GK 420 D um, and that's the one that's compatible with raw mail now to get this um, raw mail actually offers a discount so um, it, you don't have to pay the Amazon price or wherever you're going to get it from eBay um, or any other place um, so you can get a reduced price but it is still a lot of money we're talking about a few hundred quid to get it <clears throat> but I mean I decided to invest in it and you do get your money back eventually because you're not paying out for paper ink as it's a thermal printer it won't run and it won't lose the um, the color of it because um, obviously it's thermal and um, it's permanent so to sum up um, what you need to do to um, um, comply with the new laws is to get the new click and drop system from Royal Mail. Um, you need your new harmonizing codes already. Um, when you enter them in, uh, click and drop will remember them. So um, you'll enter them in for one of your items and then you can press the little button at the bottom saying remember these favourites and so as you go along it will slowly remember so the first few days you'll have to keep on putting in the item numbers 
but then eventually it will remember them and you won't have to keep on putting on all these long harmonizing codes in for everything. Um, so really what we need to do is to remember to, um, when we go to the post office to ask about it, they don't seem to be doing it at the post office. Um, so you probably won't get a long, lot of information, but um, if you sign up to the um, uh, business account, then you'll get a lot more information through them and be able to um, get your business all compliant with the new laws. Well, I hope that helped a little bit um, and I hoped it was clear. If you've got any questions, pop them down below. If you liked what you saw and it was helpful, do please like and subscribe. Um, obviously, I'm a new channel, so I'm learning. And so please forgive my um, uh, videos as they're rather um, amateur at the moment. <clears throat> but hopefully I'll improve. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.